Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video! Celebrating coming back to Japan! It's my first day back in Japan and I went into Tokyo and I decided to celebrate by buying... iPad Pro! Super excited about unboxing this super huge tablet. People might be thinking it's not that huge, it's just a 13 inch screen. But, I mean, you're going to be holding this thing much closer to your face and working with it in a much more intimate way than I think you do with a laptop. When you hold it and you feel how thin it is, you realize just how, uh, what an insane feat of technology this is. Now, I did say that I wasn't really planning on buying an iPad Pro because I thought that the Surface Pro 4 was going to be enough for my drawing needs. When I tried the stylus in the shop, when I tried the Apple Pencil in the shop for the iPad Pro, I was completely sold. I thought the fact that the pen doesn't hover was going to be a problem, but I tried it, it was amazing. So basically, let's just show you what I got. I have the iPad Pro here, it is 128 gigabytes Wi-Fi model, and it comes in gold. Also got a few more things coming out of the bag here, let's just chuck that on the floor. Um, I've got the iPad Pro Smart Cover in white, so I will be putting this on the device as well to show you what that looks like. And I also got a silicone case. This case can actually fold into a triangle angle and have the whole tablet at uh, this angle and if you have the keyboard case this uh, taller angle is the only angle you can use it at there's no way to fold the smart keyboard so that you can actually have it at this angle so that's the reason mostly that I've gone for the smart cover silicon case combination very expensive it was uh, 10,000 yen and 8,000 yen for that so that's basically $180 for the two of these together. I don't have the pencil because the entire world is out of stock for the next five weeks to be honest. They had tons of iPad Pros in stock, um, even the 128 gigabyte model, but just no pencils. So I don't know who is bulk buying all the Apple pencils, but stop it! Give us the pencil because I want one. And also in this video I figured um, Seeing as we pretty much know what an iPad does already, more interesting would be to see how does the iPad Pro compare to an actual manga. Because the page size of, you know, in manga when you buy it in Japan, it's super thick. It's like buying a dictionary of manga and it's huge. Um, and basically with this massive screen, I thought maybe we could get a two page spread on the iPad Pro and hopefully it will look really good. So when my Apple Pencil is finally delivered, I will be doing another review to show you what the drawing performance is like. Uh, Surface Pro has issues like you can't draw a diagonal straight line. Uh, I think that's ridiculous, um, but uh, that is actually the case and I have tried it myself. Anyway, uh, I will be testing that when the pencil arrives, but until then, let's unbox iPad Pro and let's show you what it looks like. All right, time to unbox the iPad Pro in gold. You can see it says iPad Pro here on the side of the box and iPad Pro Pro upside down on the other side. Nothing much on the back apart from this information like it's a 128 gigabyte model iPad Pro with Wi-Fi inside included in the set. iPad Pro, lightning USB cable, a USB adapter, and who knows what else is exciting. The box is now upside down. So let's get this box um, opened up. Let's get our iPad Pro out of it. I need to probably pull the, uh, get my nail into this bit here. Do it. Arr, come on. Okay, good. Let's get it out of here. Throw the plastic on the floor. iPad Pro. I always turn it the wrong way around. And uh, let's do the special vacuum suction thing. Dropping it out. Okay, so <laughs> you gotta actually just like drop the whole thing out of there. And actually it was a little bit uh, sideways. Let's have it like... <laughs> no, I can't even fit it on the camera when I put it this way. I think I might just leave it sideways so it actually fits on camera. Got a little pull tab here so I can pull the device out. Here it is. iPad Pro in gold. This is so light. I mean, obviously it's not as light as an iPad Air 2, but it is light. It feels as light as an iPad 2, as an iPad Air 2, because, you know, you, your brain compares how big it is to how heavy your brain thinks it should be. It's huge mungus. Uh, let's see how we get the actual um, plastic. Oh, oh man, it's making it real. Ah, what a noise. That was horrible. Slide it out of there nicely and slowly. <laughs> that is really 
very, very shiny. Nothing really going on on the front except for the standard iPad, um, iPhone uh, touch ID sensor. You got the camera here on the front. I believe it's uh, only about a megapixel on the front, but I might be mistaken. Uh, it says iPad here. Nice shiny Apple iPad Pro in gold. That is our new smart connector, which I probably won't be using because it's mostly for the keyboard. On the bottom, a couple, uh, you know, grills for the stereo speakers, which fortunately are actually on the top and the bottom, which means that it will rearrange and have stereo coming out of these two speakers, but it will be coming out of these two or those two. Uh, it'll be, you know, it'll rearrange the stereo sound so it's actually in stereo, which is more than I can say for the usual iPad experience. I have an iPad Air 2, and when you listen to it in, um, you know, uh, landscape mode, all the sound comes out like the one, I think it's like one speaker on the bottom, it's just garbage, basically. This is gonna be a much nicer cinematic experience. That is the iPad Pro in gold. It's very light. We've seen the speakers. Ah, let's have a look at the camera. You can see there's a little microphone there and the uh, camera. I believe it's an 8 megapixel shooter. We're gonna have a look inside the box. Now we've got the AC adapter. Let's just pull that out. I mean, I've got quite a few of these already, but um, this is the Japanese version. So unlike the UK, we've only got the two prongs, a bit like the American connector. Now let's have a look at this USB cable, uh, lightning cable. I don't know how long it's going to be, but it looks very generous indeed. Now just pull it out of the plastic. Look at that, super long. This is already, I mean, this is kind of what I would expect for a normal lightning cable. And you get pretty much double or almost triple the usual length. And I don't really know why. Apple stickers. You can stick these on your car and pretend you've got an Apple car. I'm sure we'll be joking about that in the future when actually Apple cars do exist. Smart cover and this ugly white silicon case. So, I mean, it is a little bit of a shame that I will be covering up the gold with these cases, but until someone comes up with a clear case, this will have to do. All right, so iPad Pro silicon case. Let's get this out of the box. It looks like there's a tab here on the back. Rip this open. Come on, rip. Okay. Wow, the sticky tape they use is very strong. Pull this out and ooh, I like the uh, I like the inside. This is ooh, give it a little feel. Let's just slide the iPad Pro into the case. I don't know if this is the correct way to do it. I like to do the top first because I want to get the buttons covered. Okay, so we've got the smart connectors open there. And last but not least, we need to put the smart cover on. So again, let's put the iPad Pro to the side. Let's open the smart cover in white. This is the feature that I'm interested in the most. Something that will actually put the iPad in a drawing position, unlike with the smart keyboard. So let's rip the plastic there and slide the case open nicely like so it's got that same felt uh, texture nice felt nice felt now let's put this on the actual device and I believe you just bring it close enough and yes magnetizes on now I don't know how strong it is you can hang it by the magnet connector and it doesn't seem to drop off. That proves that, you know, you can rely on this case to be strong and hold it together. Uh, this is not as lovely a fit as I would like, to be honest. Um, I actually think that the fit is nicer and more seamless on the iPad Air 2 cases. To be honest, I wish that this was just a one-piece case uh, and not in two pieces. Now that I've actually seen it, I kind of regret it, and if I'm quite honest, I think the white case looks cheap, much, much nicer when it's opened and in use. Let's put it into stand mode. So that's the iPad standing up. Uh, and let's put it into the mode that I expect to use the most, which will be like so. It's time to actually switch the iPad on, set up our account, and then I can show you some manga by downloading some apps. Press the power button. There we go. Come on. Oop. 80% battery. Nice start. Get started. And there we have it. Our home screen for the iPad Pro. Just humongous. And it's not really 100% that the screen is actually huge. It's that iOS was designed originally for a much, much smaller screen. And um, in a way, they haven't really done anything to change it. And that might not be a big 
problem actually because it makes it feel like you've got more screen real estate using um, you know these tiny little icons <laughs> spaced out you know in a grid of lines of four that is a little bit ridiculous but actually makes the whole device feel even bigger here we go I've got Shonen Jump here all right I managed to download Shonen Jump let's click open whoa pretty huge uh, would you like to see notifications no thank you now I can't basically uh, show you exactly how sharp it's gonna be because I'm not 100% certain that this is an iPad Pro app but um, regardless of that let's just at least see what it is in terms of you know size and how does it compare to an actual giant page of manga let's go for the starter pack I think we just click free all right looks like that download is finished let's click read whoa okay so this is a huge page of manga food wars one piece uh, I'm a fan of One Piece, let's try One Piece. There we go, so we're on chapter 760, so sorry to spoil any stories if you're following One Piece and you haven't seen this chapter yet, but there you go, we have a page of manga, obviously very easy to read at this size, uh, I can just give you a little zoom in, you can just see how incredibly easy it is to read at this size, obviously because it's very competitive with real manga. Now by comparison, let's have a piece of actual manga next to it, and this is an iPad Pro uh, sitting you know, alongside an actual, this is the standard manga size that you would buy at a, at a, you know, a shop in Japan. I think you can probably agree with me, they are pretty darn close in terms of size being exactly the same. That's phenomenal. Uh, I mean, if you really want to enjoy that manga reading experience of, you know, what it's like to read manga in Japan, because it's actually quite difficult to get these magazines, you know, these big ones in English, uh, you know, I think they have a subscription system, but if you want to read manga from Japan, download the Japanese apps and just read them at their native size, this is exactly what you want to do. Now there is that one problem, of course, that with real manga, and you know, in two-page spreads, it actually follows an order. You see something cool here, which makes you follow through this page and actually read what's going on, and then you finish here with something that makes you go, what's coming up next, and turn the page, and then you actually see something epic on the next two-page spread. Obviously, that's not likely to happen with the iPad Pro, because you only read one page at a time, even though it is the same page as before. So you don't get to follow that whole trajectory, which which basically all manga artists are quite aware of and they know how to play your mind and make you read on. But if you don't mind that whole system and you just want to read it page by page, this is perfect. There is that option, of course, to read it sideways. And now you've got really huge, <laughs> this is huge manga. Obviously it's a retina screen so you don't need to worry about not being able to read the text because wow, it looks fantastic. And this is just like reading, in fact, I would say this is better than reading the reading experience you get with um, with traditional manga which is sold in the slightly smaller books. It's a bigger page for each page but you still get that two page spread and you can really take advantage of all that editing hard work. I mean a page like this you know just you wouldn't really have been able to enjoy it quite so much on the iPad Air 2 because of the smaller screen size you would have had this would be half the size basically and if you write if you read it like this of course the problem is that you know you'd have to kind of slide between this two page spread which is a massive massive shame and actually there are a lot more two page spreads than you might expect uh, before you read manga I will definitely be reading it in landscape because I really do believe in the you know the whole layout because they put so much work and we don't even really realize how much work they put into arranging these panels in exactly the right order giving us two page spreads like this but when you try to compare the experience of reading a two page spread on uh, you know on a you know, on a traditional piece of manga like this you know it's pretty good I mean this is, <laughs> if you if you lay it down like this you can see that you know okay it's not quite as big but wow we are almost there and also you wouldn't really want it to be much bigger than this I'm already going to feel a little conspicuous holding an iPad Pro to read on the train um, holding it in landscape means I'll probably have my arms bumping into the person next to me so if that's the case I guess I could read it like this but wow reading comics in you know in landscape 
Is iPad Pro good for manga? Resounding yes. Wow, for a consumption device for reading manga, this is just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Really very impressed. Something that might be worth pointing out as well is that, you know, you get this epic, gorgeous quality, which is what they would have actually drawn it like. It would look like this when they drew it. But then when you read it, um, you know, in these giant books, which are, uh, you know, it's a really fantastic experience to read uh, manga traditionally like this. But the problem is that, you know, the, the paper quality is actually not very good. Ultra recycled paper. But um, that is kind of part of the charm of, of real manga printed like this. When you read it like this, maybe it feels a little bit clinical, but wow, look at the quality of the print. It's just it's just so beautiful to read it on this screen. All right, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you, just the fact that iPad Pro has just come out, just released. This is a brand new product, which a lot of people were skeptical about, and it's just like, do we need an iPad this big? But if you are interested in manga, if you're interested in games, if you're interested in drawing, this is a really interesting tablet to consider because you obviously get to read manga at actual size with these massive pages, and if you read it um, in landscape, you really get to take advantage of these gorgeous, gorgeous layouts and then these fantastic two-page spreads which are really, really common in manga. I have tried the pencil in the shop, obviously I only got a little time to try it out but it was fantastic, so when I get my Apple Pencil in the post I will be reviewing that as well, but until then, if you do pick up an iPad Pro, enjoy it because this is a luxury reading experience, especially if you're into your manga. So that's all we have time for, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next Nihongo Game video. She's got magnets on her feet. First new Nintendo 3DS game, Final Fantasy XV! Ah! Someone pick up the phone! How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time! So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop and she took the only copy of this, and I thought, no! Here it comes! Oh! It's like the anime, but better. It doesn't say what this is. It just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.